Now that we've built this object detection system in our main player, let's experiment with creating some basic gameplay mechanics that are built off this system. Over the next two videos, I'm going to show you just two creative ideas that I had that I thought might eventually be integrated into a game, just to show you how I think through building some of these things. But I'm going to leave it up to you to figure out how you want to implement this system to create your own gameplay. Also, once again, in these tutorials, I am not creating a fully playable experience. I'm guiding you through basic mechanics, and your task is to turn these mechanics into interesting gameplay experiences yourself. So what you're going to see created here is really just the first layer of proof of concept prototype design, and you can decide how this gets up and running in your games. All right, in for the first one. I have added this wall that's not movable, that can't be destroyed, it's just a static firm wall, but I've added this door to my scene as well. And I want this door to be able to be interacted with by my player. However, I don't want my player to be able to open this door any time other than when they're really close to it, kind of like in real life. So let's take a look at what I have going. This door script has a boolean called interactable. And when it first is instantiated, it is not interactable, that is false. And under update, it's constantly checking if I am interactable and the E key is being pressed, then it's gonna do this rotation in its own space along the Y axis. So basically it's going to spin and kind of open in a way that the player can pass through, but only if it's allowed to be interactable and the key is then pressed. So how do we change this interactable state? Because right now, um, it actually says that it is interactable. We should disable this so it's not interactable inside Unity Editor as well, although it won't matter because of how our other script works. I'm gonna run this and show you what's going on here. Right now when I press E, hopefully you can hear me tapping it, nothing happens to the door. But if I get within range of it so that it's highlighted by my proximity detector and I press E, the door opens and I'm now able to slide through. And if I press E again, it closes. I can open and close this as much as I want but only when I'm close. It doesn't matter where else I am, it gets enabled based on proximity, which suddenly feels a lot like how I want my game to work. And if I make lots like this prefab of a door, I can just drop these anywhere I want in the world and it automatically will work based on proximity, which gets a nice core mechanic up and running. So how is it that I trigger that based off of proximity? Well, I added some code to my sphere target manager. Inside my target manager, on trigger enter, I had to add a little bit of code to this. Now, we could break some of the stuff down into methods. You'll see I made a new method down here. And it's kind of a bit up to you at what point you make things modular. One whole method here fits on my screen. I think I'm okay with it being here for now, but maybe I split this up if I add too many other layers of functionality to this. So, what is it that I do inside of this on trigger enter? Well, I first add the objects to a list, like I used to, but I've added this new functionality. If the game object that I've added, or that's I'm currently being triggered by, is interactable, which of course I have tagged my door as, I am actually going to toggle the interactability of it using my helper method. I pass it my colli collision event, and I also pass it a uh, Boolean value. Let's go take a look at what it does. The toggle interactable takes this collider and a Boolean state. And what it does is it snags the script that I've made that I want to have, its, have whose value I want to have changed. So here, it's my door open script. Right now, this is customized just for doors, but maybe eventually I wanna make this more of a generic script for all interactables. That's something to consider for your larger games to come. For now, I'm just gonna snag that script and in it, I'm just gonna directly interact with this, the Boolean for interactable and set it to whatever state I have here. So now I can pass in the collider and the state change I want to have occur. So when I first trigger this event, when my character comes within range of the door, it's going to turn the door's interactability to true. And based off of how the door is made, that means that the door will now be interactable. And when I press E, it's going to actually perform this rotation. Beautiful. One more thing that we need to see here though is that the player also needs to disable the interactability on trigger exit. So we'll see in here something familiar. When we leave, we, we change the color back to the way that it was previously, but we also disable the interactability. 
if the tag is interactable, then I'm going to toggle the interactable this time to false. I just use this helper method again. And those things working together has built a system where now I'm able to drop other doors in this world. And why don't we do that just for practice sake, I'm going to take this door and just drop one kind of in the middle of nowhere here, start up my game. And when I press E, nothing happens and it should only affect the door that it's close to. Although this one here is having some issues for some reason. I wonder if my prefab had its code not update properly. Let's see here, door open, and it has the key code E interactable, starts to be false and it has a void update. Everything looks pretty good here. Now, is the question is, is it being added to my master list properly? This is a nice little debugging moment here. So I see here that it's not seeming to work with the interactability. So I'm gonna minimize uh, or not have it maximize on play and just take a look that when my game is up and running here, pop this over to the side and my player gets close, keep an eye on my player's understanding of objects near it. Does it actually get inter information about that door? Perfect. And oh, this is, I just realized what it probably is. My door, under scene view, is not tagged, is interactable. I forgot to save the tag for interactable at the prefab level. So it didn't actually apply to the store. And now that I have, it should be there. Awesome. So this is a little kind of debugging moment that you can see me working on. Now, when I'm close, it works independently of the other door because of the way I've set up this proximity detection. Awesome, I'll show you another strategy in the next video.